I was working on the railroad. I was a, a fireman on a diesel electric. And it's just me and the engineer up in there. And I think we had 217 loads of stumps of <laughs> them gondolas going from Waycross, Georgia, to, to uh, Brunswick, to the big Hercules Powder Company. They made gunpowder out of those things. <laughs> it was the lighter stumps were the, were the pine stumps left. Pine stumps are left there from a thousand years ago. So uh, I had uh, taken a car out to a cousin of mine in Oklahoma, and I drove it out there, and then I had to get back, and i get to work. So I'd, I'd been, a, been asleep, for, been awake, except for a nap here and there, but I had to go to work. So, I mean, I had that job. It was a good job on the railroad. When the trains run, you, men, you got to be there. So I showed up, and I remember my engineer was Mr. Wendell Davis. He was a sport and the nicest fella. Anyhow, we hooked seven of those great big diesel engines together and started off with that load of stumps across the Okanokee Swamp, and it was raining. And uh, I believe there's a, a million candle power on the front of those engines, and they go in a figure eight to warn you possums or deer or people or cars, and they go like that, just in almost enchanting, you know, just, and the rain was coming down at an angle, and it was just hitting the windshield like diamonds, and the windshield wipers was going, and then when she, and that thing was going like that, and I just came out of my body. I mean, completely out of it, and I thought, wow, and I went up to look at myself, and I look at myself, I had my eyes open, and I was still looking, and I looked at myself, I was breathing, and I floated across the engines, 10, 10, 12 feet wide, went up there, Mr. Davis, I looked right at it, I could see the pimples where he dug them out of his face when he was a kid, I could see all that. And I went up there and I looked outside, I looked at all the gauges, kind of red, and, and I knew that I could just go wherever I wanted to, and I went up and sat on the radio, and I thought, I'll watch this scene for a while, I'm out of my body. And then I, I, after a while, I mean, uh, I thought, I wonder if I'm dead. And when I did, I was, bam, I was right back in my body. So that's, that's happened twice to me. And that you can do, you can have out of the body. You can work at it and have that for sure. It don't, and you can learn to travel, I understand. What was the, what was the other one? Uh, another time that I was, uh, uh, me and another boy was at a log truck, and uh, the fuel pump broke on it. And so I laid across the chassis, and I'm blowing into that 55-gallon drum, and I'm breathing that gasoline fumes. <laughs> and he's, and I, if my, and I had to keep a uh, pressure on it to keep the, make that thing, it's an 18 wheeler with all them wheels behind me and I'm laying across it, things going 80 miles an hour down the, <laughs> down the highway. <laughs> and the back window was out of, that thing must have been 1938 or something, it was old. And it slowed down, blow, Roger, blow, blow, and the wind blowing. And I, I became, I came out of my body. I, and I just could just come right up there in the cockpit. Just then I, I read the signs as we came by. And then he stopped. I was unconscious and he pulled me off of that. <laughs> I could see him doing it. Wow. You got to look into psychedelics. All right. You got to look right into it. it. I'm going to send you some information. A lot of people have those type of experiences on psychedelics. And... I swear, it's like a veil. It's just lifted up, and you just see so much more than 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 what you normally do, and everything makes sense. It's really, it's it's my psychedelic experience is one of the most profound experiences of my life. All right, that's strong. Yeah, and uh, I don't I don't say that lightly. No, and I, and, and mine these visions I have. I certainly, I, I certainly just like honor them. It's yeah. just like, all right, I'm blessed. Sacred. Yes. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.